a tutorial, Solving Equations with Fractions, by Mrs. Earle. Our first problem is 2 thirds x equals 8. 2 thirds means 2 divided by 3. So we can solve this problem in two steps by doing the opposite. So let's start by first, instead of dividing by 3, let's multiply by 3. And remember, what you do to the left, you need to do to the right. On the left, 3 divided by 3 cancels out, leaving 2x equals 8 times 3 is 24. The next step is to divide both sides by 2. 24 divided by 2 is equals 12, and 2 divided by 2 cancels out, leaving the x by itself. And our answer is x equal to, equals 12. But remember, when you're solving equations, it's always important to check your work. So let's check our work now by substituting the 12 in for the 2. So instead of the x here, let's put a 12. 2 times 12 is 24, divided by 3 equals 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. We bring this 8 down, and indeed they are equal, and our equation is correct. But it's a little cumbersome to be first multiplying by the denominator and then dividing by the numerator. So what if we just, instead, since it's a multiplication problem, what if we divide it by 2 over 3? But remember, when we're dealing with fractions, when you divide with fractions, you actually multiply by the reciprocal. So let's do that instead. The reciprocal of, three over two, of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 2. And remember, 8 is really 8 over 1. So on the left side of the equation, I have 3 divided by 3 cancels out as 1, and 2 divided by 2 cancels out because that's also 1, leaving the x by itself. On the right side, I have 8 times 3, which equals 24, and then I have 1 times 2, which equals 2. For my last step, I'll simply divide, or simplify. Dividing and simplifying are the same thing. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Here's another equation. We have 1 fourth x plus 2 equals 30. So again, we're going to solve it as we would any two-step equation. We start by adding a negative 2 to each side of the equation. On the left, we now have 2 plus a negative 2, which cancels out, leaving the 1 fourth x by itself. And on the right, we have 30 plus a negative 2, which is 28. Now we're going to use the same trick multiplying by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 4 over 1. If you said 4 over 1, you're correct. So we now need to multiply 4 over 1 on the right side of the equation as well. Well, 4 divided by 4 cancels, 1 divided by 1 cancels, leaving the x by itself. 28 times 4 equals 112. x equals 112. But again, we need to substitute 112 back into the equation to make sure we haven't made a mistake. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. 1 fourth times 112 plus 2, and if we've done everything correctly, it should equal 30. So let's start by doing 1 fourth of 12. 1 fourth of 12 is the same as 1 12 divided by 4. 1 12 divided by 4 gives you 28. 28 plus 2, bring down the 2. And it should equal 30. Let's keep going. 28 plus 2 is indeed 30. We bring it down, and we are correct. For our next problem, 
there is no coefficient with the x. So we have to remember it's the invisible one. Well, let's start out like we'd solve any two-step equation. In fact, why don't you hit pause now, solve it on your own, and then push play to see if you're correct. All right, let's see if you've solved this problem correctly. Let's start out by adding two to each side of the equation. We now have x over three equals 12. Well, this is a division problem, x divided by three, and the reciprocal of the reverse is you multiply by three. If it helps you to remember, you could say, since there's the invisible one here, you could multiply by three over one. Either way, three divided by three cancels, one divided by one cancels, leaving the x by itself. 12 times three is 36, and x equals 36. Once again, we need to check our work by substituting in 36 for the x. Let's see how we did. 36 divided by 3 is 12. Bring down the minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. And we bring down the 10 on the right side, and indeed they are equal. If you got x equals 36, you are correct. For our last problem, we have fractions on both sides of the equation. Push pause again, solve the equation, and then press play to see if you are correct. Okay, again, we will solve the equation by doing the reciprocal. We have one-half times x, so let's multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. And remember, what we do to the left, we have to do to the right. It's important that we keep our equations balanced. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1, leaving the x by itself. On the right-hand side, we have 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 times 1 is 4. The answer is x equals 6 over 4, which we can simplify by dividing the top and bottom by 2 and leaving us 3 over 2. So in the end, we have x equals 3 halves. It is perfectly acceptable to leave your answer in fraction form. Now, last step, don't forget to check your work. We said that x is 3 over 2, so let's substitute it back in the equation. And if we've done everything correctly, we should have 3 fourths. So we have 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down the right side, 3 over 4, and indeed, they are equal. This has been a short pre-algebra tutorial by Mrs. Earl. Enjoy!